then being a DJ wasn't something that had any particular lifestyle attached to it. It was just a, a desire to play what you thought was good music and just use the money to kind of buy more records and what have you. So yeah, that was that was the, the, the beginnings. Much has changed in the last 30 years. Today, techno is a global export with hubs in cities across Europe, the UK and beyond. And despite its relatively small size, Glasgow has long been central to techno's story and Slam have been two of its greatest authors. Slam kickstarted a movement with weekly parties at Subclub and then the Arches. Pressure at the Arches became the stuff of legend with acts like Daft Punk, Surgeon, Laurent Garnier, Richie Houghton and Jeff Mills making regular appearances. And while some might maintain a certain nostalgia for the 90s, Slam see today's warehouse size maximum pressure parties at SWG3 as proof positive that the scene is continually improving in Glasgow and indeed around the world. Slam and their label Soma have been central to those changes, leaving behind a vast cultural legacy that promises to continue shaping the scene for many years to come, especially with the relaunch of Soma School, which focuses on giving the next generation a foothold in the music industry. Speaking to them, along with Surgeon, Regis, Slam manager Dave Clark, and Finnish newcomer Ida, we dig into their past, present, and future in Slam Inspirations. It's a bit like that Woodstock moment, you know? If you were there and you can remember, then you weren't there. <laughs> At the beginning, we, we were kind of just experimenting, really. It, it was quite small, you know, so we went from... Actually, quite quickly, it, it escalated. So we went from doing parties for 300 people in a basement to kind of doing the Tramway Theatre, which was for 2,000 people. There was 2,000 people inside and 2,000 people outside, and that was just kind of... That, that was a really quick evolution. But I think, you know, there's quite a lot of elements to why Glasgow has a good techno scene, and I think one of them is that great clubs, great DJs, bad weather so everyone's producing but also things like tea in the park you know we had the slam tent there for years we can you know jeff mills has played in there many times so people are used to the sound you know it's, it's always been a techno stronghold glasgow 87 88 uh with all the music that was coming through the new kind of uh house and techno i we always felt there wasn't enough of it being played in the clubs and that was really our kind of entrance into the market was to play a whole night of this kind of new music and Slam was born. When everybody started we were all just kids and it was just kids booking kids, paying kids. Now it's a lot more professional which I think is good. We might, we might have the edge or the uh, um, the innocence might have been taken away and might have given way to a more professional way of being but I think that's better for everybody in the long run and uh, yeah that, that, that's, that, that's just the nature of the business. The parties are bigger and better, better organised, sound systems are better. The routes have to be healthy if we want it to continue to flourish. We tend to try and include a lot of local talents and try and give, give some people encouragement by putting them on and we always try and bring through artists that might not be as well known, but it, it's possible to do that at bigger events like the Maximum Pressure one. Soma School, I'm so happy with this event today that the team of the Soma team have organised and you can see by the amount of people here and the interest, people are keen and eager to learn. When we began Soma, we had to kind of figure it out for ourselves and it was fun along the way, but there's no point having that kind of knowledge and not being able to share it. For us, there, was, there wasn't there was anything like that. For us, it's, it's getting across that acceptance of that electronic music is a career choice for people. Because, you know, when we started, obviously it was right at the beginning of, of the scene. so. There wasn't any of that infrastructure in place for, for people to learn about this, and it, 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 and I think it's a really it's really useful to, for the scene to develop and carry on. I think you need to you need to pass on that information to to a younger generation to, to keep it going. I think they're central to anything that's happening in Glasgow, and there's, I think without a question of it, you know, it's it's a personality driven as well. They're pretty amazing characters, all three of them. The whole Glasgow scene is based on, or the techno scene is based on what they've achieved. Definitely think we've, we've had our input, but uh, along with many other people, a music scene isn't built on any you know, set of individuals or one record label or what have you. 
and uh, yeah, Glasgow always had a great music scene, very healthy, very eclectic, and uh, we grew up, you know, through that uh, atmosphere, and it's something that we've kind of tried to bring with us, and uh, we've always tried to encourage other people um, to uh, get involved in the Glasgow scene, be, try and be as supportive as we can. I love this new, uh, this new space, you know, it's great. Um, you know, I, I enjoyed, uh, SWG3 as it as it was, you know, I like the different spaces here, but you know, this the addition of this this hall is um, it's kind of a it's a great surprise for people. With this, we're we're super involved. We were really particular about the lights in here. We were particular about the sounds. What we tried to do is bring everything, all the knowledge we've gained from doing other events and other places in Europe, and, and we've, we've curated that and try to make this the perfect par party for us. It's much bigger, bigger like events than anywhere else in Scotland, so obviously it's, yeah, huge. There's always been a, a really continuously great energy from the people, uh, you know, a passion from the people organising the parties, so that's something that's really been consistent the whole time. They seem to be great at, at working with whatever adversity you know, with licensing or whatever, you know, they seem to always figure, figure out a way to have a great party.